Hi, Brad Ward, Ward's Auctions. Uh, just creeping up, we're a little bit running late on this one, creeping up on the June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, 2019 estate and consignment auction. Right behind me here is a fantastic, fantastic collection of toys. Stamp steel, tin plate, battery ops, die cast. You've got Japanese, American, you've got Meccano, you've got Lincoln, Structo, Buddy L, the list just kind of goes on and on. Um, some of them in original condition, some of them restored, some of them almost almost showroom. It's absolutely fantastic. These are going to be on the Tuesday session online only. They're already bidding. Uh, the Tuesday session online. You'll find the links from our website, wardsauctions.com. Uh, so this whole wall is filled with them. And into the cabinet as well. That, uh, that And this is, of course, in the West Bay of the sales room. So tomorrow is the viewing. The viewing is on the 31st of May, and that'll be from 4 o'clock till 8 o'clock in the afternoon slash evening. 11802 145th Street, Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, to just take a look at some of the condition of some of those dinkies. They're like brand spanking new. There's some, some uh, Britain's toys in there. There's a Batman, uh, probably a Matchbox. I see a, a wind-up motorcycle. I see a wind-up submarine, uh, a couple of wind-up motorcycles actually. I see military pieces. There's probably Shuko in here somewhere. Uh, here's some dinkies in the boxes, uh, larger ones and smaller ones, and, and good vintage stuff as well. Just about 300 lots in the toy sale. There's also, um, not, not in the camera view right now, there's also quite a collection of hockey cards different estate hockey cards that have been sitting and, and other cards uh, hockey and so on that have been sitting in a estate for quite a number of years and that was um, uh, the Michael Palalek estate that we will will be selling quite a bit of stuff furniture most of the coins in the sale came from that sale so let's have a look at the rest of the auction so the main room for the live sale uh, is above 460 or 70 lots, something like that. Just a nice comfortable sale, but some awesome, awesome pieces, including this nice, I'm going to call it Canadiana roll top desk. It's, it's an interesting piece. I'm not going to close it all the way up because we don't have the key. So if I accidentally latch it, I'm going to get in trouble. But it's an interesting piece because it's so narrow and small. Uh, it does have a little pull-out writing surface there. So really neat. This is an original. I did focus on this one on a video earlier. This is an original pastel on sandpaper. Uh, 462 is the lot on that one. You've got um, Michael Tickner. We've got some other terrific original artworks in the sale. Leather works here. Three or four lots of that. Not antique, but uh, Victorian style wardrobes. There is mid-century modern in the sale, two or three pieces, four or five pieces. There's quite a selection of Eve Sham. Uh, Eve Sham, very popular. Not too often you get actual table settings. You get serving pieces more so than table settings. Dining room suite, again, some more artwork up there. Mission furniture, including this one here. Modern furniture, quality modern furniture. Now, I can't say for sure that this one was McKellarin's, but I know some of the stuff from that household, not necessarily in a state, but some of the stuff from this household was um, McKellarin's. This, as an example, was an, a McKellarin's piece. House of, of, of oak kind of a, a kind of a deal. Edison cylinder gramophone and working. Modern oak filing cabinet. So a little bit of a little bit of everything. Some of it is designed to look old. Some of it is is uh, is just old. Some of it's new. The TV unit, as much as TV units are a bit of a problem because it's a mission style one, I really think it's worth taking that, remodifying the center section into a platform. Uh, if you're handy with wood or get somebody, and then make it so it's set up more for a flat screen TV. So personally, I think it's worth the the thought uh, put into that. So. Love this cabinet here. Victorian uh, balloon back chairs with needlepoint upholstery. Um, these are quality pieces too. These are more of a pine Canadiana. And these are House of Brome. House of Brome is the maker on these ones. Another Mission Morris chair. I think we passed a couple already. This one's interesting because it does have a spot to open up and store stuff. Now, of course, in those days, it wouldn't have been for your remote control, but nowadays it could be. Uh, back then, it would have been for your, your pipe and who knows what else. And there's magazine slash book storage in there. This is, again, quality, uh, I think, Lazy Boy brand. This sectional is Lazy Boy brand. It's like brand new. 
There's even some of the original tags here. It all, it's all in pieces. I forget how many pieces, but enough pieces that you can move it quite easily. The two outside um, sections, I haven't actually used it, there we go, are electric and recline through electricity. And then uh, you don't even hear it operating, it's quite as most. And then one of these, this one here, is mechanically um, reclines and whatnot. So again, this thing's like brand new, Lazy Boy brand, so you know that the brand is there. The quality of the brand is there. More so print has a little bit of damage on it, unfortunately. Um, some nice originals. The Seth Thomas clock is a, the regulator. Again, a great piece there. Ethan Allen piece here. So again, we're talking quality. Mid-century modern, we'll let the camera walk before the go show that instead of me, because that's a great set there, a great uh, sideboard there. Victorian style furniture. Quite a selection of carpets. Sheraton or Sheraton style display cabinet here. Quite a nice selection of carpets as you can sort of see fanned out there. This piece is interesting. I'll probably make a fool of myself trying to operate this while the camera's rolling. But this is actually mid-century Danish made teak. It's a fold over, flip flop fold the top. Sewing cabinet. Have your sewing machine in there or whatever, you pull it out, do whatever. Uh, I don't know, I don't sew. But that's kind of the basic idea behind it. And it folds up, you know, like a, like a Murphy bed sort of a deal. And it's Danish teak. The, te the desk beside it is Danish teak. So again, mid-century piece. It'll have a fitted interior. Clean as a whistle. I mean, look at the quality. Even in the inside drawers, dovetailed. So that's a mid-century. This is a pull-out ledge to, for support. People often forget to support the drop fronts as they're opening them. Sterling silver in this cabinet. There's flatware and so on. Uh, it's the first time we're using a different cameraman, so we don't we don't flow the same way as we do. So that's okay. The the polar bear up top is a royal ducks. I think the elephant is royal ducks as well. Then you got Dalton. This is cloisonne, and when you look at cloisonne like this, you get to see what the difference is on, you know, premium cloisonne. There is, uh, I can't say for sure if this one is, this crystal down here is Waterford, but there is some Waterford, there's Stuart, there's Webb and Corbett type, type crystal in the sale. There's a vase. That's a big one. It's, it's a bud vase, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, in here, again, some Daltons and so on. Pay close attention to lot number 105 if you're into the Asian uh, ceramics, because that's an awesome, awesome pair there. Uh, Art glass, Moorcroft. These two figures up here are, are Royal Worcester, proper antique stuff. Uh, you got Hummel figurines, you got ivory, cast, the RCMP bust here. Mahogany drop-down desk. A couple of you know these are these are modern pieces. They're from the same house as the big tall one. Remington bronze up here, and another little couple of bronzes. This is I'm told for weighing newspapers. So I guess when you would ship a newspaper, nowadays we just email it, so it's different. Draft screen, nice small. This is one of the nicer samples that I've ever seen of a draft screen. You can raise it up and down depending on where the draft is coming from. A piano, wonderful piano. I'm sure it's actual ebony and ivory. Uh, I'm going to screw up the pronunciation. Julian Quido's Pianos uh, out of Quebec. Uh, came from a nice home, in, in, right in uh, Glenora here, not far from the office. And they, uh, she's moved off to the to wet climates in, in Victoria, Vancouver area. And so she, she just can't house that anymore. Not a lot of miscellaneous on this sale as far as the shelf lots and so on, but there's still a couple. This is mostly gibbered you're seeing in this corner over here. Another uh, grandfather clock, I think we have a couple in the sale. This is Lexington, this big dining room suite here. So we're talking about a modern antique style, but high, uh, high quality piece. Two big leaves in here so you can make it a little bit smaller and then you do have eight chairs. So you have lots of room for, for feed, sitting the whole family and, and then some besides. A couple of Victorian etagers, some French provincial. Some more artwork again. Uh, Peter Shawstack behind us there. We missed that one, so don't miss it. Don't you know? Don't discount that. No, you're not going to discount it because it's an awesome piece. 
quarter cut old Canadiana cabinet. Let's have a look at these two guitars. Both Gibsons. You can see that uh, Michael's still working on the website, but that's how far late be behind we are. And viewing is in, what, 20 hours? Um, two Gibson guitars, American made, mint condition. Like They have very, very little miles on them, which is awesome. Both with Gibson brand fitted cases. Uh, let's have a look at some jewelry and some pocket watches before our video becomes an hour long. There's costume jewelry, there's Sherman jewelry, there's ivory, there's some watch chains in there. Those will be uh, like a gold filled and a rolled gold type stuff. Um, up here we've got a nice selection of antique pocket watches. You're probably going to find that they are mostly working, so you've got the hiccups now. They may not be wound right now in the video, but they're mostly working and we do mark in the catalog if they're working at time of cataloging. Uh, you got gold lockets, you've got nugget gold, you got a nice little Victorian lavalier, you've got quite a nice little selection there. The next cabinet over is a huge pile of coins and again we made nice big meaty lots as, uh, as those of you that, are, that buy with us are familiar that we have nice big beefy lots. The, the thing that's really unusual um, is the amount of gold that we have in the sale. And it, it predominantly is from the Michael Palalik estate. Many of you are going to remember Michael Palalik as, many, as much as he wasn't at a sale much recently. Um, you know, as he got older and that sort of thing, he, he was certainly a staple of the sales years ago. And most of the coins, of the gold is from his collection. And there's earlier ones, you know, including 1900s roughly. There is a couple of half sovereigns. There are. Uh, there's an older Canadian, 1912 Canadian piece. There's a 1948 Canadian silver dollar I mentioned that just turned up in, in sort of uh, general population of the collection, which is unusual because usually I always tell people, well, you'll know if your dad has a special one because it'll be isolated and whatnot. And there, that one was just in with the with the group. So again, an awesome awesome selection of gold, mostly. Well, I shouldn't say mostly. I was going to say some vintage, some newer. And then you can see the rest of uh, the cabinet filled with. Mostly coins. He didn't have too much in the way of bills, but he did have some. He did have some bills, but mostly coins. And again, nice big, nice big juicy lots. On the tables, we've got some fun pieces like bronzes. This big cauldron is awesome. I think it's awesome. Anyhow, love story pieces there. A banjo. I love the, I love the artwork. This guy here. He's like the keep on trucking dude. He is the epitome of a musician. Long hair, smoking. Fresh Canadian reefer, got the, the pot t-shirt on. He says, I'm a musician. Not to stereotype or anything, wouldn't want to do that. This is another terrific piece. Uh, Wilner is the brand name. This is a, and it's in excellent condition for its age. You know, this is approximately 1948. There's a paper label in there. Steve did post a picture of that label. It'll be hard to read, but you'll be able to read it during the viewing. Uh, but you can get a pretty good sense of it. This is quite a nice collectible piece. I don't know what it's worth in hard dollars, but it's quite a nice piece. There's some Oriental chargers, uh, and I'm talking about some decent product here. So don't discount some of this Oriental product. It came from a house, a different estate, that was also a very large collector. Um, in fact, I will... Uh, Jane, can you bring me that box of, of auction chits? This is a neat piece as well. I, I don't know if this was, I don't think it was a factory built. I think this is, this is more of a craftsman piece, probably Inuit craftsman piece or a combination of. Uh, they're not in the habit of using oak and beveled mirrors, but, but we do have uh, what I assume are like walrus tooth and that sort of thing um, on there to use as hooks and so on. I was mentioning the, not the estate, uh, not Michael's, but a different estate where we opened up a piece and there was all these auction chits inside it and we did cover this before so I know some of this is rehash so you've got from, uh, from my mom way back in the day this would be back in chits day so 1980s you got dates in here from 1982 Crips Antiques on, and auctions Arthur Clausen's auctions is, is the green ones the catalog is is clothed auctions there's some more of my mom's um, you know those were those were your staples at the time of the antiques auctions. You also had Royal City coming and doing the Traveling Road Show. You had, you had the Haynes Group down in, in Red Deer. So this was all in a, um, 
in a, a porcelain that we unpacked from the house. So it's kind of neat. Uh, the interesting, I knew all of these people. I sold the Claude estate. My mom and I sold the Claude estate in 1990. No, sorry, 1999 in St. Albert. And of course, Charles Cripps came and helped me at our sales after my mom passed away. So he was, he was at every sale for a little while. I loved the way he auctioned. And of course, Clausen's. I mean, I worked at Clausen's sales when I was a teenager. So interesting. And, and obviously, we are the last man standing is what it boils down to there. This tractor is from the Palaluk Estate, 31, 30, uh, it's either 31 or 37 hours. Either way, it's like brand spanking new. Uh, it's got the big mower on it, and like again, it's like brand spanking new. So this is out of there, and some of the other stuff that's in the back room uh, that we'll get to is from his estate too. There's geodes. This is from his estate. All this petrified wood and geodes and and garden waste, Jane likes to call it, but uh, it's cool garden waste. Another little bronze. This is a, a representation of peace pipe, and this is a Russell, a Russell piece. Well, that's kind of cool. This is one of my favorites in the wholesale for no good reason. Probably a nickel plated or something like that. And it's a cast. That's got to be like a 1950s lamp. I love that one. Love it. More porcelains down here, quality crystal, including things like Waterford and so on. Uh, the peanuts jar has to be just from where it came from and whatnot. And, you know, planters made in Canada. <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's an authentic one. Slag glass, lamp, neat pot here, copper with the, with the lid still intact. I know we've been rambling on and rambling on and rambling on. Let's go see what we have next door and, and call this thing a wrap. Thanks. If, you, if you're looking in the viewing on viewing day and you haven't seen this room, it's because you haven't found this room. This is, uh, uh, the, the West Bay is kind of broken up into a few rooms, so make sure you come into here. There's some good artwork in here, some nice original stuff, and lots of small estate wares, so make sure you get over to here. Snowshoes and framed mirrors, and there's watercolors and prints and sat irons and, and, and all kinds of good stuff. So you're going to want to make sure that you get into this room as well. So on the Monday of the, of the sale is online only as well. And you're looking at about 400 lots and there's everything again. Um, Victorian cheval mirror sitting in front of me or vanity mirror. There's a, artworks, there's leather upholstered furniture. There's a, a huge selection of paintings. Uh, I think I'm going to say 100% uh, of them are unframed if I'm not mistaken. Poss let's say 99% of them and they are from Crane Thomas, and they are Crane Thomas from the Crane Thomas estate. So the family has consigned those. We did sell quite a few of them, kind of a piece at a time, in the last, most of last year, and maybe even the beginning of this year. And this is the, what's left, and we just like, let's just get rid of them. So you're actually going to find many, many lots, 15, 20 lots, and each one of them has four or five in it. Huge collection of coins in this sale. You're also going to find them, as we already showed you, for the Sunday sale. But the, this sale has a lot as well. And you need to take the time to go through them because we did put pretty decent sized group lots together, which means there just could, may well be treasures in there. You have to keep in mind that we found the 48 coin, uh, silver dollar, just sitting in with general items. So it wasn't sort of uh, singled out in his collection. There was two or three of the gold pieces that were just in amongst the other coins. So as opposed to a lot of the collections, we get used to them being out and being in a, in a uh, specific area, isolated from the rest. Salvador Ferragano Shoes, Vera Widiak Estate. So we talked about that earlier. And what you have here, here's a, a very gently used shoe but I mean almost not at all. She must have been a, just a wonderful lady. I wish I would have been able to met, meet her. But some of them never used. This has never been worn other than once in the store when it was being uh, sampled. Some of them have original boxes. We didn't necessarily match up to make sure the box had the, same, the right labeling for the shoe. There's only so many hours in the day. Never been used. Italian leather. Mostly size eight. Some really high-end hats, high-end gloves. The clothing racks are absolutely fantastic. You have to have a look at the clothing racks. Chevrolet 
pickup truck, fully loaded of the time, and it runs quite nice. It has had, it was the acreage truck, so there's a bruiser two on it, but it does run really nice. Uh, it's got the medium-sized V8 and automatic transmission, and again, fully loaded of an 07 uh, vintage. Put 160,000 kilometers on it, and it seems to run really nice. The, the Ford LTD that was in last month's sale is in the sale, never got moved, never got paid for. Um, somebody kind of got themselves into a little bit of trouble with me over that, um, but not enough to warrant an assassination. So it is in the sale here. So, and I, I should probably reach out to the underbidder from the last month and, uh, and let them know, but they probably are paying attention. Anyway, the lawn gear is from the Michael Palalik estate and there is a, uh, uh, lawn, a lawn tractor in each day. You got the rotor tiller. I don't think that rotor tiller's ever been used. It's got maybe once or twice, but that's about it. Some new and packaged product. Everything from heaters to, I think the shop vac might have been used once. This compressor's never been opened. Little Camel Hosfield compressor, never been out of the box. Uh, some other pieces never been out of the boxes. This whole rack filled with prints, all one lot. You don't get the rack itself, but all of the prints inside. And there's some other unframed prints as well. So there's a million of them. You get them all the prints, all one lot. So I have a little bit of fun with those. As I mentioned two or three times in the last video and over the course of the last months, these are, this is the last of the estate of Vera Wittiek. We had her, I mentioned in a video the other day, where her house is hopefully sold, technically sold, still waiting on probate though. And if that gets delayed, it can screw things up. But hopefully everything's good because obviously the buyers are sitting there waiting for their house. Her clothing, you know, most of, and, and all of this stuff, 80, 90% of the stuff was in dry cleaner bags. It had been dry cleaned, brought, hung. Uh, there was just a pile of it. And it's all, it's all vintage brand, mostly brand name stuff from the, from the 60s and 70s, you know, the quality. Um, I mean, she, she just, I just wish I would have known her. She must have had a heck of a, heck of a lifestyle. Look at this, the, the weight of this sequined and beaded cocktail dress is, is, ama is awesome. It's just, it's quite heavy. It's not like the stuff you get today that's, that's just so fema that, you know, there's, there's no weight to it. It's such awesome, awesome product. There's some evening wear. There are some, there are some, uh, uh, you know, Hawaii type lounge around the pool wear. You know, there, uh, a lot of the names I don't necessarily remember as I'm going along here, uh, but they are, they are well cataloged. This is on the online session of the Monday. Let's see if we can find something else that really jumps out at me. There's some furs, there's some furs in here, including some that's a bit unusual. So some nice, the shorter ones and so on. Italian umbrella, silk like you wouldn't believe. There's a, an outfit here that I think is just an awesome one. It's, this, it's probably this one here. Like that would just look so classy. Just so classy on. So all high end of the time. And all very retro. Is there all three racks here? So again, uh, some of the ones that really jumped out at Jane were some of these, um, some of these 1970. I can just, I've been watching uh, Columbo on TV lately. Not that I want to brag, but all of the, all of the characters wearing the 70s, 1970 kind of stuff, and it is absolutely awesome. So you're going to want to make sure you come, take the time to look through these racks. <laughs> I've rambled on way too much. Anyhow, the, the sale is Sunday, uh, the live sale is Sunday the 2nd of June, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's live and online. And then Monday, starting at 6 o'clock, lots number 1,000 to 2000 essentially, 1000 to 1999 or whatever. There's about 400 lots. Um, close starting at 6 o'clock. The Tuesday, anything in the 2000s, starts to close at 6 o'clock, and those are the toys and cards and whatnot. So uh, viewing is May 31st, 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock. The website, wardsauctions.com. The address, 1180 245th Street, Edmonton, Alberta. My name is Brad Ward. Thanks for watching. 459. Uh, 780-451-4549 is our phone number. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the sale.